we may not have your legal advice on the gender reform row, but we do have the opinions of two Supreme Court judges. Um, and interestingly, they both make quite similar points. Um, firstly, uh, on the 13-page statement of reasons released by the UK government last week, uh, Lord Hope described it as devastating uh, for the bill, uh, Lord Sumption as powerful. Um, I think he raised specifically uh, the fair, fairly obvious problems about ha having two systems of gender reform uh, in different parts of the UK. Uh, and secondly, they, they also were fairly dismissive of the, of the argument this was an attack on devolution and, and the arguments you've made this morning with regards um, the Secretary of State just basically blocking any bill that he fancied. Um, I think Lord Sumption called it absurd and Lord Hope basically said that no other bill had created the UK-wide problems. Uh, that um, this bill has created since since devolution started. Um, so I'm just wondering, I mean, these are two very senior authoritative figures and, you know, they're, they're making these these points, the same points. And doesn't that uh, undermine the, the claims that you're making? Uh, no, I don't think it does. I mean, they are attached to the views there. You're right to point out very eminent uh, legal figures. And um, I would uh, not uh, presume to stand here and... and uh, you know, suggest otherwise or, or to say that in, in some way their legal views are not valid and, and that they shouldn't be listened to. But we've seen a range of legal views, as will always be the case where there is an issue of controversy that may end up in the courts. You'll see a variety of legal opinion. You know, I could point to, you know, Charlie Faulkner, not a known supporter of the SNP, former Lord Chancellor under the, the last Labour government who takes the opposite view uh, to that. And much of the legal commentary, um, and I appreciate I probably wasn't seeing all of it that I was seeing in the course of social media uh, last week was actually commenting on how threadbare and thin uh, the UK government's position was. But you, you'll get that uh, variety and division of legal opinion. Ultimately, only courts can decide. I, I think I mentioned uh, minimum pricing for alcohol earlier on. I well remember in the many years that it spent going through uh, one court after another, you know, I probably read over the course of it, you know, oodles, that's not a technical term, uh, you'll understand, but oodles of, of eminent legal opinion saying that there was no way the Scottish Government would prevail on minimum pricing for alcohol. Uh, and, of course, we, we did. So, you know, courts are, are there uh, to adjudicate where there is a, a difference uh, of opinion on the, the legal point. The point I made earlier on, forgive me, I can't remember who I made this point to, um, but... Yeah, I have confidence in uh, the the position of the Scottish Government and I want to defend this legislation so that it can become law. But even if that wasn't the case, I, I do think there is a, a national public interest in having some you know, lines drawn that tell us what section what, what the, the limitations or are there none of section thirty five are. And you know, in terms of the interpretation of statute uh, that can only come from the courts. So I, I do think for the the future of the Scottish Parliament, the immediate future, but the longer term uh, future, um, until, of course, we, we become an independent parliament and these things are all academic, something that I, I know is a, a matter that you uh, sort of are, are excited about, Simon. Um, but until that point, all Scottish Parliament, if things stay as they are right now, every piece of legislation that comes before the Scottish Parliament, there will be a doubt about whether a UK government could use Section 35. And I don't think that is in anybody's interest, not in the interests of the legislators in the Scottish Parliament, but it's not in the public interest either. So that is a, a related uh, but secondary reason why I think it is important that we don't simply let things lie where they are. Well, oh, sorry, I, I meant to come on to that, actually, yeah, I mean, because... Well, I'm not... I, I'm, I'm actually not sure that that is the case. There are processes where the UK government already recognises, uh, although there is talk now that they're going to revoke the recognition of gender recognition certificates from other countries uh, granted under similar processes to those in the, the Scottish legislation. But I was, I was going to come on, so forgive me for uh, omitting to do this. The, the policy divergence here is actually not as a result of the Scottish Government's position. If we cast our minds back to we 20... Well, uh, just let me finish the point here. Well, as we have the right to do, as what I'm about to say will 
demonstrate. But if we cast our minds back to 2018, when Theresa May was Prime Minister, and I accept that is, to use the technical term from earlier on, oodles of Prime Ministers ago, uh, but the UK government was proposing exactly the same thing as the Scottish government has now uh, legislated for. And in the, the consultation that they published then, and I'm, this is won't perhaps be a, a precise quote, but it, this is an almost a verbatim quote from the UK government's consultation back then, where they said the issue of gender recognition is devolved to the Scottish Parliament. Scotland can have a separate system of gender recognition if it so chooses. So back then, there was no suggestion that this would be an uns insurmountable problem. That has come about because the UK government has changed its views, not because the Scottish government has changed its views. It has done, the, and the Scottish Parliament has done, what we set out back, I think, as far back as, as 2016. So, you know, I, I do think some of these arguments, when you, you scratch the surface of them, and some of them you don't even have to scratch the surface, really are not as strong as can be made out.